Hey, Chris, I noticed you were sitting alone. You mind if I join you? Hey, can you check my back for kick me signs? Oh, yeah, you got a couple. <laughs> Keep that one for my lawsuit. Boys, I got a new home gym. I gotta say, it feels kind of weird having someone join me for lunch. We're the Khaleesi and Jorah Mormont of this school. Sure, I'll agree to keep the conversation going. And for dessert, the only bad cookie in the world. Hey, what's it like buying food from school? It's good. I know everyone back there, so they let me drink the corn water. I think you and I could get along very nicely. Yeah, we'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. Spin on finger, two rotations, dream about window. Put away basketball. Uh, before I touch anything, is this a nut-free counter? I don't know, my dad's might have been on there this morning. Pretty powerful stuff. Thanks. I don't like losing any part of my lunch. Look, I'd love to stay and talk, Neil, but I have homework and there was no toilet paper in the girls' bathroom. Wow, that'd be great! Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were gonna go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. Boy, this light is taking forever! Please get out. I never drive this car. My wife died in it. Move along. Gotta keep the hallway clear. This isn't because of my divorce. Thanks for doing my book report, Neil. And I didn't even have to change the handwriting because you write like a girl. You should see me throw. Listen, Meg, would you want to go to a movie sometime? Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Home Ec just got out. I'm gonna go lick all their bowls. You sure are spending a lot of time with my sister lately. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think that fish are ghosts. And I'd also think you're putting the moves on Meg. As part of a carefully laid out plan to get close to your sister. What? We even got Sean Penn to dress up as my dad. Go away. I never want to talk to you again. I feel more betrayed than when I thought that lawyer was going to propose. And you admit it here in front of everyone? Uh-huh. No further questions, Your Honor. Motion to have the last eight years stricken from the record. First time I've been on a date since I got the nickname Gutterball. It is nice. Here, hold still. Make a wish. You used me just so you could date my sister! Oh my god! Okay, Dad, you got us in. Now just go. That sounds pretty good to me. Traffic on 146 is backed up all the way to mid. Oh, it's an old boombox. I don't own any cassettes, so I just have to play whatever's on the radio. Neil, there you are! What the hell is your problem? I finally give you a shot and you abandon me in a movie theater? I'm sorry, Meg, but my friendship with Chris is more important. You're a jerk, Neil. Yeah, I'd like that, Neil. Great. See you tomorrow. Here we are, guys. Niagara Falls. We showed them. We showed them all! Listening to him back at the drive-thru when he leaned out the window and ordered a plus, there's people waiting behind you. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. Holy crap, it's beautiful. You know, Lois always dreamed about coming here, and now I know why. She was even saving money for it. Didn't I tell you guys? It's the most magnificent place in the world, and the greatest place to end it all. Oh my god, Joe killed himself! But hang in there, Joe, we'll get some help. No, just let me die! I mean, you supported me that day I accidentally wore Lois's jeans. Don't worry, Joe, they're coming for you. Yay, my backpack! You think Andy Dick is happy? I couldn't imagine, no. I'm a cop who can't save anyone. I'm a husband in a legless marriage. My whole life is a joke. I can finally kiss this worthless life goodbye. Let me get this straight. The whole point of bringing us to Niagara Falls was just to kill yourself? Well, not for nothing, but you could have taken us all to Disney World and shot yourself in the room. Come on, Joe, there's plenty of reasons to live. Well, he's got a good chin. I don't know about handsome. Yeah, he's not handsome, but I will say this, he keeps a good lawn. Hey, wh where's Joe? Joe, wait! I stink at this. Anywhere is fine. Guys, this is unnecessary. Give me my chair back. No, we can't trust you not to kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, ten. Look, you guys, what we really need to do is bring him back to Quahog where we can get him some help. That's a good idea. We should just go home. It is only a ten-minute ride, you know. Okay, we'll do the Whirlpool Aero Car and then take Joe back to Quahog. Okay, okay, Whirlpool Aero Car, then Whitewater Walk, then we bring Joe back. Yeah, let's do everything. Great! And guys, remember, the pool towels go home with us. They got no way of accounting for those.
Well, this has just been one heck of a fun day. Hey, you mind opening that door? Get a little breeze in here? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You buy your jeans at Walmart? No, somebody who lost theirs at the church did. Hang on, guys! We'll drink our way out of this. Let's grab onto my legs. <laughs> got it. Don't worry, I got gotcha. you. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. You can I don't know, Chris. Joe, that was amazing. You know, I spent the whole time trying to kill myself that life really is worth living. See, Joe? You're a hero, too. I made it up. Well, stop it. It's terrible. I don't think so. It's catchy. Four friends have four friends have an adventure. What's your wow, nice. Oh, my yeah. God. All right. Wow, that was awesome. We got to record this. Yeah, that'll be great. Peter, damn it, no! Wait, wait, we got to remember the other one. Wait, what was it, Joe? <sighs> well, that was kind of a weird trip, but I'm glad we went. Yeah, I love Niagara Falls. The tourists were taking pictures of me. One of them thought I was a bear. Sure did. How'd you pull that off? Oh, uh, they always need more cops. And what about Bonnie? How you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. Joe, today's Tuesday. Well, poop. Hey, Lois, can I please have another pancake? <laughs> well, what's so funny? I, I don't know. Dog-eating pancakes. It's funny. Mom, I need a check for the school field trip. Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Meg, I'm still alive, but I'm badly burned. Here, sweetie, I'll write you a check. No, 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 I got it, Lois. Let me just lick my thumb, because that's what people do before they write a check. What's the day today? Dad, why don't your checks have any writing on them? Why don't your shelves have any trophies on them? That's just a wide pad of Post-its I gave you. What? So that million-dollar check you gave me yesterday is no good? I quit my job, man! What the hell, Lois? Why don't I have a real checkbook? Peter, where do checks come from? Lois, I want my own checkbook, and I want it now! You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? You're really not gonna like what I have to say. Hi, what can I do for you? Yes, I was wondering, where is the room where I can roll around nude with my money? I'm sorry? It's actually just Peter Griffin. So this is not your birth certificate? Wow, I never noticed that. Justin Griffin. Huh, I like the sound of that. I'm a Justin. Peter, it doesn't change a thing. You're still the exact same person. Hey, Lois, you see my hiking boots? I need them later for park soccer. Peter, why the hell do you look like that? Uh, my name isn't Peter. My name is Justin. Wanna go to a loud concert? No. Since I'm your cool father, Justin, we should bond with skin-to-skin -skin contact. Okay, let's go for a ride in my open Jeep. I took the doors off, so it's extra terrifying. Peter, did you throw up in the sink? I farm for my meals. Dad, what are you doing in here? Oh, hey, Chris. I just figured now that I'm just sliders, I think they're called. Ranch. Here's just a picture of a vest. Pretty sweet. It was tough because I had to move all my OAR stuff to fit the Gustus stuff. Peter, get out of Chris's room. Oh, did I tell you? I'm going to be doing a lot of a breeze. All we do. You ever get in the pocket of a wave? Peter, you know I haven't. And I know for a fact that you haven't either. In the pocket. It's like the rest of the world just shuts off and all that matters is you and Lady Blue. And you know what she said to me? Keep it cool, Lois. 
K-E-W-L. So, you want to go upstairs? Sure. Hey, Justin, I wanted to introduce you to Kira. She's the one who brought four loose Sierra Nevada. Peter, what the hell is going on? Oh, dude, is that your mom? The bastard knows how to smoke pot out of an apple. All right, everyone out of here. All right, fine. But I gotta say, being Justin was quite an adventure. Like when I found where the wild things were. I owe you, Max. You led me right to them. All right, now help me grind their horns into boner pills. 